Hey everyone, Derpy here, back with another Battle Pirates video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to build the Apollo to kill Reaver targets based on the July Raid. And these are Reaver Nav Relays, not Reaver Uranium targets. So the Apollo is an Assault class ship, which means you're going to have missiles on it. You're not going to be able to use this in the FM or Skirmish targets or whatever for any kind of success. And the Apollo has a special ability that I'd just like to talk about first called Accelerate. If you're driving along, you'll pick up speed until you're about double your max speed. This is super useful for going fast, but just remember you will slow down and stop if you're stunned or stop manually in targets. So the Apollo has 10 weapon slots, 5 special slots, and 5 armor slots. I'm going to be talking about the weapons first, as I usually do. And you have a couple choices here. If you have Apollos, you probably don't have the best missiles, like Talon or something else, released later than this video was posted. But you'll probably have some other stuff, like the ones I'm going to list in order. This is from best to worst. So the best missile for the Apollo, other than the Talon, is the Scoria missile. It does a whole bunch of damage. The second best is the Switchblade, because it does decent damage and has a couple countermeasure stuff in there. It's also kind of good. And then you've got the Blade followed by the Harrier, and then the Disruptor. All those do less damage as you go down. The Harrier and the Disruptor are identical, except the Harrier has a much shorter build time, and the Disruptor has a stun thing that comes into effect, or rather a slow, but I don't really see a whole lot of benefit in these targets from it. Just know that the Scoria is by far the best missile here in terms of damage. It's almost double the blade. So I'm only going to fill about 6-7 of these slots full, not all of them with Scorias, I'm going to save the others for some anti-missiles. Because a lot of these targets that you're going to be hitting will have missiles that shoot at you that you can shoot down. And I can either use one, two switchblades or a couple phalanx here, it really depends. I sometimes even just like to have one ship loaded out with four phalanx and the rest just to have 7 or 8, 9 missiles. Now that we've got the weapons away, let's take care of the specials. So first off, you're going to want to stick Speed System 5 on here. If you have Magnus 2, you could also use it, because that's a bit faster, but a bit less accuracy, a bit less turn. Speed System 5 or Magnus 2. Now that we have that, let's take care of Missile Range. So for that, you need Guided Missile System or Counter Missile Extender. Make sure if you're using Switch Blades, use Counter Missile Extender, because that's a lot better for them and their anti-missile part of it. Guided missile system will give you more accuracy, counter missile extender gives you more reload. And then I'm going to have to take a defense special on there. Kickside might come out with a new one, but for now I'm going to go with reactive armor 3 or RA3. Just increases your missile defense a whole bunch. Next you want something to increase your damage. And you probably do not have carbon fiber because that was released with the Phoenix and was locked behind that in Kickside's tier system. So to increase your damage, I'm going to suggest Interception System, which increases damage a decent amount, but also speed. If you don't have Interception, you strike warheads, because that increases your missile damage a whole bunch, but nothing else. And speed is really important in these targets. For your last special here, you kind of have two choices. I like Siege Battery 3. Stick it on there, you get turret defense, turrets do less to you, and you get turret damage, you can kill turrets faster. Or all buildings, rather. Or your other choice is agility system, which increases evade and stun or slow resistance in some of these targets, which is kind of important. I'm going to go with Siege Battery 3, though, until I find some huge reason to use agility system. Okay, now we've got a pretty decent ship here, but I'm going to add in some armor. And looking at defense right now, I can tell corrosive is really low and missiles really high. So I'm going to use some D2 for D2CO for low build or repair time while increasing corrosive or some D5 for a lot better performance in these targets, but it's going to have a bit more build time, a bit more repair time. And you probably won't be able to fit all five D5CO on here, um, so watch your weight. You might have to use one D2 plate like I did here. 
And just a couple quick notes, if you are using a switch blade, make sure you use the counter missile extender because that helps out a lot. You have to watch your weight because they're a bit heavier than the Scorias. And add one of the other missiles for remote targeting because the switch blade will not trigger remote targeting like if you're using this in front of rhinos or some other weird thing like that in the future. So just add one blade, one harrier along with your other missiles just have one of those that actually can spot for your other ships and if you have any way to use charged armors or talon or carbon you should consider using it here because that will bump your fleet up to the next power level and you'll be able to hit some stuff that you can't and take a lot less damage although if you have that you might already have the phoenix it's probably just better to build those and the last thing i'm going to tell you before you turn off this video yeah, you. Don't turn off this video. One more thing. Use the Zoe's Apollo if you have it, because that has a huge boost to all your other Apollos in the fleet, and it's really useful. So thank you for watching this Let's Build episode. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the YouTube comments. I'll reply to them as fast as I can. And this is Derpy, signing off, helping you be a better pirate.